Hello, this is Okro Belzer. Welcome to Belzer Strategic Arcana. So I decided to do another short video with uh, instructions on how to install a mod for a strategic command game. And I have been working lately with uh, MD Small with the Icarus mod for strategic command World War One. So let's go. I'll show you what you do. So I just got a file from him. He just uh, emailed me this. Uh, this is a weed transfer, so uh, it's a zip file. So I'm going to open it up with uh, with an app that I have. There's all kinds of different extractor apps, so I use Breeze Zips pretty easy. So I'm going to go ahead and do this. And uh, I've already got files for the Icarus mod, but he just gave me another update for the 1916 version, which is pretty awesome. I already went and took a look at it briefly. I'm going to show you how to install this thing anyway. Now I got a document from a previous mail on uh, the 1914 campaign. This is just going to show you guys an example how to do this. So what you do is you go to your documents, you open it up, you want to go to my games, you want to open this up. Now since this is a strategic, strategic command World War I mod, you, gotta, you want to make sure you put it in, in there. World War I, not war in Europe. Uh, I've seen people accidentally drop a, a World at War mod into a War in Europe mod and oh, it don't work. Anyway, so we're going to go ahead and open this up. All right. Now you're going to want to drop in campaigns. Now you do see mods. Do not drop them in the mods. I know that's a common problem. Uh, this is the correct path. Now, I, And also, I've seen that the path in text is pretty clear. But, you know, if you not generally don't do this very often, you might get messed up so visually it always helps so whoops anyway did I let's open this up all right so you can see I already have the Icarus 14 version 5 now this is version 5 too. I don't think it has a label such but he said uh, that's not necessary uh, I had a whole bunch of others here but I had to clean this up because right? I had so many different versions of this uh, even got I have to go and re-download uh, Jason's uh, wonderful Polish Soviet 1920 war mod uh, he had different versions too but it was a hot mess so anyway I just dragged these over now, I guess you could copy and paste them that'll work too thing is what we've noticed is uh, sometimes it's, if you want to do multiplayer the slithering server does not like that it's like there might be just a little change in code I, I actually don't know what it is but we've tried it and we couldn't uh, failure to make it work sometimes it's picky because it doesn't want cheating anyway so that's just dropped in. That's all you got to do. You don't have to turn off your computer or anything. So I'm going to close it. Let's go right to our game. Strategic Command World War One, And we'll try the 1916 one. And I'm going to do a video uh, showcasing uh, this mod. And I might do a little quick playthrough. The 1916 one starting as a time because the Arab Revolt starts. I uh, help... Uh, with the, some of the concepts with Mike Small uh, with that to make it so it, it's actually pretty realistic. Uh, I'm excited that. And also, uh, well, I got something working with another YouTuber too. We're going to do uh, the Icarus mod later on uh, in the spring. Pro probably May. It'll be Something's going to be going up public. But anyway, let's go, go to single player. There we go, 1916 Icarus. Let's just click on here, let's play campaign. Uh, we'll just go with Central Powers. They, they start first anyway. This is just an example of how to drop a drop them on. Not how to play this yet. <laughs> uh, I'll just keep over this uh, the NATO for now. There's a, there's other counter mods, or you can use the 3D sprites. Uh, I generally use NATO, but that's a whole different story. Let's go take a look. That's a pretty big file, so it might take a little bit. Yeah, sometimes the blue hamster wheel gets, you, gets a person worried, but uh, I've already ran the other one, so let's see what happens here. There we go. Oh, excellent. 
Let's go ahead, go ahead and take a look. Oh, well, yeah, I'm not going to go through these. I'm not going to read these because uh, that will be a, a, a sample playthrough. Germany employs secret agents in the Middle East. Pretty cool. Germany employs secret agents in the French Morocco. Yeah, yeah, we've got a robust Arab presence for both sides. <laughs> the Ottoman Empire sends emissaries to Senussi. That'd be Libya. Senussi revolt begins in Cyrenica. Oh, at Derna. That's always a hot spot for trouble. If anyone knows about Libya and its history. <laughs> anyway, let's go on out. Take a look at it real quick. Oh, yeah, this is beautiful. Oh, this... Oh, this is the Indian troops that are surrounded at Kat. Oh, those poor suckers. Yeah, that's right. That's the right That's the right time, too. They uh, they were surrounded by the Turks. They end up eating their shoes before they went to captivity in Baghdad or beyond. Oh, man. Let's go take a look. Everything looks like it's rolling good. I'm Central Powers. Oh, my. Oh, yeah, that's the, that's the Western Front for you. <laughs> anyway, uh, I think one other little test we could do is make sure it, everything works. Let's go ahead and uh, see if we can find out some Russians. I don't think I'd be doing this, but just to make sure. Oh, yeah, we're good. Probably the fleet's probably mostly destroyed. Uh, anyway, that's it. So uh, I hope that was clear. Uh, like I said, visual aids are pretty good. Uh, and uh, I will do a little short playthrough, probably the 1916 one as an taunt. I don't, generally don't do single player, uh, but I do want to get a, I want to see some action and uh, show it off. Mike's been working on this thing for two years straight, or if not longer, uh, and I've been communicating with him since the beginning of this when this game came out. I play a lot of multiplayer, and I will be having. We will be doing an Icarus mod. Uh, I will be with another YouTuber. That's all the reveals I'm going to give so far. So anyway, hope you enjoyed that. Uh, we will see you on the virtual battlefields. I am gone.